Hey everyone, in this video, we are looking into A2A or agent to agent protocol. We will cover the A2A fundamentals, what exactly is the A2A protocol and why it is such a big deal. Then we will see its implementation with agents built using Google ADK. So let's get started. Google introduced the A2A protocol in April 2025 alongside with Agent Development Kit. The goal was simple but very important to make AI agents from different platforms and systems work together. A2A protocol outlines the standards of communication between two agents. These two agents can be developed using any programming language, any framework or hosted on any platform. Let's understand this with an example. Suppose I have two agents. My first agent is AI Assistant that is developed using Google ADK and deployed on Vertex AI Agent Engine. The second agent is Text to SQL Agent. Suppose it is developed using LangGraph and deployed on Cloud Run. Now a user submits a request to AI Assistant. And if AI Assistant needs to prepare a SQL query, then it can be benefited from Text to SQL Agent. Then what will be the steps for this? This is exactly what A2A protocol outlines. In A2A terminology, AI Assistant is called Client Agent and Text to SQL Agent is our Remote Agent. Client Agent and Remote Agent will communicate in three steps. The first is Agent Discovery, then Authentication, then Send Message or Request. First step is Agent Discovery. In this step, Client Agent will call a predefined HTTP endpoint over the Remote Agent and remote agent will provide a JSON in response. This JSON is called agent card. Agent card holds all the information that AI assistant or client agent will need for further communication. It contains agent name, description, agent skills, A2A capabilities, and authentication mechanism. Agent skills defines what the agent can do. In our example, agent is able to prepare SQL queries from the given prompt. Each skill can have an expected input and output structure as well. A2A capabilities defines the agent capabilities with respect to A2A or communication, such as does it support streaming, does it support push notification, does it require authentication, like this. So this agent card is very important as it holds all the information that AI assistant or client agent will need for further communication. After the client agent get the agent card, the next step is authentication. And the third step is to send the actual message. This request can be sent as synchronous request or asynchronous. Output can be provided right away or a streaming response can also be generated. So in these three steps, our AI assistant is able to take help from text to SQL agent because of A2A over the network. So you can see any agent that is developed using any language or framework, if it is exposed as per the A2A standards, then any other agent, if it has the required access, can call and take help from that exposed agent. So in case of implementation, there will be two steps. First is to expose the remote agent. And then the next step is to consume the remote agent from client agent. Now let's implement this with Google ADK. So in my example, I have this AI assistant, which is client agent where user will interact with. And Google ADK provides two ways to expose an agent with A2A protocol. So to cover both the scenarios, I have two remote agents. One is flight agent, one is portal agent. Both will be using SERP API to fetch the details. And both will get exposed with A2A protocol and both will be consumed and integrated with AI assistant. To implement this, we will do this in four steps. One is to set up your local environment, then expose the remote agent one, then expose the remote agent two, and then integrate both of them with AI Assistant. But before this, as a prerequisite, you should have Python installed, and definitely you need a GCP project where billing should be enabled, for and Vertex AI API should also be enabled. So this is needed for Gemini LLM calls. And definitely we need SERP API account and its API key for flight agent and hotel agents. 
Now the first step is to set up the environment. This code is already there in the GitHub repository and the link is there in the description. So you can clone the repository and come down to this folder, A2A1 ADK client and remote and set up the Python environment, create a virtual environment and activate it. I have already activated my environment, so that is good. And install the Python packages. The packages is there with the requirements.txt file. So this is the package which we need, uh, Google ADK A2A, which is needed for the A2A integration. And we need this Google search results for the SERP API. And this UVCon is to host our application. I've already installed the packages, so you can just run this command and install the packages that is needed. Now the second step is to run the remote agent. But before that, let's look at the code. So this is my folder, remote agent one, inside which I have this flight agent.py file, which contains uh, the agent uh, definition. We are importing the LLM agent from Google ADK. And this import to A2A is needed. We'll look into that. And this is just to load the .env file. And this is the tool which is coming from flight tools, search flights, which is here, flight flight tools.py. And here you can see we have this from SERP API Google search. And uh, this is the function search flights and the engine is Google Flights. So it is uh, using the SERP API only and getting the details from the Google Flights. So the search flight tools is imported and there is some issue with the package, with the, with the ADK package. So that's why we have to have these three environment variables uh, manually, we have to define them. So this is one of the ongoing issue of the Google ADK. And uh, then this is the agent uh, instructions we have to define. And this is the definition of our root agent or the flight agent. We have to provide the name, the model, the description, and the instructions. And we have to provide the tools, the search flights. That's it. And uh, after that, this is the only line we need to expose our agent with A2A protocol. So this 2A2A function, which we imported here, is the only thing we need and it is doing all the heavy lifting. We have to provide the root agent and the port and it will return the A2A app, which we can host using UVCon. That's it. This is the only thing we need. Uh, and this function inbuilt doing everything for us by default. We can also provide the agent card here. We can manually create the skills and the details of the agent card and manually provide it. If we don't provide it, it will extract all those information from the root agent. So it already has the agent name, the description, and the skills will come from tools. So each tool is one skill, and this entire agent is also can be used as a tool. So agent as a tool as well. Now to run this agent, before that, we have to also define uh, .env .example. Here I have, you just copy this to .env and provide the Google, uh, Google Cloud project location and SERP API key. Once you have that, just do this, source.env file and start our application with UVCon. So remote agent one, this is my sorry so this remote agent one this is my folder and this is flight agent.py file inside which i have this a2a app which i'm going to host on localhost and this is my port that's it just come here and so application has started and you can see it is running on this url to verify if it is running properly or not, we can actually see the agent card. So this is the URL for that. Let's do this pretty. Yeah. So this is the JSON and the path is here dot well known agent card dot JSON. So this is the inbuilt or uh, predefined uh, URL where the agent card is hosted. And you can see here the capabilities the default input methods which is just plain text 
the description the name and uh, this is json rpc the trans uh, preferred transport and these are the skills so there are two skills one is the flight agent model which is uh, which is agent as a tool we can think of and uh, this is search flight which is basically a tool inside the agent so these two skills has been added so our first agent is running now let's run the second agent or the hotels agent so for the second agent we are going to use google adk cli and for that we need to follow the fixed folder structure we should have a separate folder inside this remote agent to hotels agent and it should contain the init file and agent.py file and this agent.py file will contain the definition of our agent which is here and the variable name must be root agent and uh, this agent is exactly same as the flight agent the only difference is instead of calling the google flights it will call google hotels and this is the search hotel tools which is defined inside tools.py which is calling the same SERP API Google search and the agent engine that we are going to use is Google Hotels. So once we have this root agent defined, the only thing we have to define specific for A2A is this agent card, agent.json file. The file name must be agent.json and it should contain the agent card. So in our previous method, we did not define the agent card by ourselves. Two A to A function created the agent card for ourselves. But once we are using Google ADK CLI, we have to provide the agent.json and we have to define this agent card by ourselves. So this is the name. We have to define the name, the description, the URL, the default input and output method is plain text in our case. All of this we have to define the skills. So there will be two skills. One is hotels agent itself, like agent as a tool is being used here. And then each tool that is available with the agent will be added as a skill. So we have just one tool. So that's why we have search hotels, which is just one tool has been added here. So if you have n number of tools, the skills will be n plus one. So there are no capabilities uh, right now for us. So this is very basic implementation we are doing. And then supports authenticated extended card. So this is false in our case, but we can have two agent cards. One is which is publicly available. And if there is authentication with your agent, then after authentication, there, there can be an extended agent card also available. So maybe it is possible that we will only provide maybe two skills publicly in the agent card, but, but after authentication, we will provide the extended list of skills and details uh, after only after the authentication. So that's why we can have two agent cards, but in our scenario, it is set to false. So we have just one agent.json file we have to define. Once this is set up, we should have this env.example file, just provide the SERP API key, project and location, and create a .env file. Once you have that, just uh, open the new terminal. Let this first agent run and open the new terminal and go to remote agent 2, source.env for the environment variables and just run this command for a to a this is the option we just have to provide so the good thing about this running with cli is that with this one command we can expose n number of agents so we if currently we have this portal agent folder we can we can have n number of folders here defined and each folder will have their own agent.py file and the root agent and each folder will have agent.json file which is our agent card and all of them will get exposed using this one single command so the urls will be different of course so the difference in url we'll see if i just go to this url so this is my agent card for my hotels agent and if we compare the urls with the previous method uh, or the flight agent 
So you can see after port, we have this dot well known agent card dot JSON. But with the CLI, we will have this prefix slash A2A slash hotel agent. And if we have different folders, then different uh, prefix will get added. And then we will have dot well known agent card dot JSON. So yeah, that's it. Now both remote agents are running. The first one is running on 8001 port and the second one is running on 8002 port. Now the only task remaining is to integrate this with AI Assistant. To do that, just go back here. This is my client agent folder inside which I have this AI Assistant and then agent.py file. To integrate any A2A agent with Google ADK, so we have to import this from Google ADK remote A2A agent. And uh, this we have to initialize. We can provide the name and the description. And the only thing we have to provide the URL of the agent card. That's it. So for the flight agent, I have this local host 8001. And this agent card well known path. So this is nothing but this dot well known slash agent card dot json that's it and this becomes my flight agent and the same thing we have to do for hotels agent as well just provide the agent card the url will be slash a to a slash hotels agent and then agent card well known path this becomes my hotels agent and both of these agents will be integrated with ai assistant as sub agents that's it this integration is complete and we can run our ai assistant and our AI assistant will be able to communicate or get help from these two agents. Now let's open another terminal. Just go to CD client agent, initialize the env file source.env and run adk web. That's it. All right, so it has started and just go to this url so we can access the adk web ui this is my ai assistant to test this i'll just go hello are you looking for flights or hotels or perhaps planning a trip i'll just ask help me with finding flights um, Mumbai to Delhi on 2nd November 2025. One way flight only. Me alone is traveling. Does it need anything else? And you can see the transfer to agent. So the air request will be transferred to the sub agent. And yeah, it has provided us the list of flights. And if we check the events, we can see this is AI assistant and flight agent and hotel agents is added as the sub agents. And if we go forward, then the request is transferred to flight agent and flight agent is able to respond to us. Now, Help me find hotels in Delhi for one night on 6th November 2025. Find hotels below 4000 INR. So you can see it transferred the request to the agent. So now the request is transferred to hotel's agent. And hotel's agent is able to provide us the list of hotels. That's it. So we saw today the very basics of A2A and how we can implement this with Google ADK. We used inbuilt functionalities to implement this. But in our next video, we will see how we can implement this in a more customized way, which will give us more in-depth understanding of A2A protocol. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much.